It's hard to believe, but it's been already more than one year since I started aggressive inline skating. This is my literally first day on aggressive skates ever in my life. First time riding in a skate park. I started learning my first Machios. Unfortunately, that's all the footage I saved from that day. This next clip is from my third day on aggressive inline skates. So my razor shifts still look like new. I'm riding on wish frames instead of anti-rocker because I couldn't stand it. And I started to do drop-ins, practicing grinds. And at the end of the session, I was actually doing quite a decent soul grind. Not that much worse than I do today. So during my first year of skating, flat bar or flat rail was one of the scariest things to try. So the next thing I did, I made myself a practice rail and I think that was my single best improvement for my grinds. So if you want to progress fast, this is one of the best things you can do for yourself. Make yourself a practice rail, nice, light and easy so you can carry it or keep it next to your house and you can practice anytime you want. This little rail was my biggest teacher during the COVID-19 times. I skated a lot on it and I learned how to lock my grinds and especially where the balance point is. You see, when I grind the rails, it doesn't matter if it's taller or smaller, the balance point is at the same place in the middle. And it's also a relatively safe place to fall. After that small rail, I upgraded it to this metal one and now I use both. And the same principle is transferred to the skate parks because every skate park has some rails. This was one of my scariest ones that I tried this year. I'm pretty proud of this one actually. So I'm gonna kick off my today's session by a little practice on this flat bar. There is one thing I'm proud of, it's the royals, either on rails or on ledges, lately I have been just killing them. Why it's so important to me? Because that was the trick that took me the longest time to learn this year. I was struggling so long on these royals, it's hard to believe. Cuts like these happen through the shin guards. Without the shin guards, my shins would be completely open while I was learning royals. This is one of the most important protection pieces that I had. It took me around seven months to start landing royals reliably. And you can see, I still cut my shins now and then. So I'm really proud about landing these royals this year. I didn't fall on any other trick so much and I didn't do so many attempts on any other trick. Talking about injuries, I got my ankle twisted badly once and that took me off skates for like a month and then off grinds for almost two months. My right knee has torn meniscus, but that doesn't hurt and I still can't skate. I'm not going for the surgery right now. And my left knee has chronic pain somewhere, which I'm trying to work out with physical therapy at the moment. What's next? Next, I would like to learn a backslide. And I'm on progress, I'm getting there, but still there is work to be done. One more thing I really want to learn next year is how to skate bowls. I can't pump them, I don't understand how that works, and my bowl riding is, yeah, it completely sucks. 
I am doing much better at doing airs and I can do some coping grinds. So this will also be the focus for the upcoming year. Inline skating changed my life and I'm not exaggerating. I'm skating three to seven times a week. I learned a lot about video making and editing. I have a lot of fun. I fall a lot. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. And I'm also having a lot of fun. And I just hope that you also have at least some of the fun when you watch our videos. And if you do, I'm pretty sure I will see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.